What unorthodox but effective method of practice should you be using? It's proven, and it will help you become a better presenter. Well, the answer to that question will be found in your next Daily Dose of Public Speaking Wisdom. Chances are you're having a hard time here. This is not something you would ever do to an audience. However, if you want to ensure that your message is internalized, it's deep within you, and you don't have to think about it anymore, this is a practice routine you should use. Recently, I saw a video clip from Shonda Rhimes. Shonda is a successful TV producer and writer. In this clip, she reminded me of a practice technique that I used to use and got away from. I'm going to start doing it again, though, based on hearing her interview. What she suggests is that when you practice any presentation, speech, uh, acting role, that you play music really loud while you're doing it and that you go at double speed. There are two reasons this works. Number one is the loud music forces you to focus on what you're saying. Number two is speaking faster helps you find your stumble points. Here's an example. The story that I've often told about sitting in my manager's office in 1994 and getting reviewed for all of my financial planning workshops, it didn't go well. Here's how I practice that now when I'm reincorporating this new technique. It's October of 1994. I'm sitting in my manager's office. He's called me in for a review. As soon as I sit down, he said, we can need to go over these reviews from the last few workshops you've done. My initial thought was, oh, this is good because I've put so much work in these, had great PowerPoint slides, gave them a lot of good information. They're going to love me. This is really going to be good. He looked at me and said, Michael, this is not good. I said, what do you mean, Joe? He said, this is just a sample of what people are writing about you. You get the point? <laughs> I would never deliver it that fast to an audience. But by going through it that quickly, I can review either the video or audio and find out where I'm struggling. It may be subtle, but when I hear that, I know where I have to get the words down, exactly how I want to say them. Your tip for today, if you're willing to step out of your comfort zone, is when you rehearse, play some loud music and speak at double time. This will help you know what, you, what parts you already know well, maybe you weren't sure how well you knew them, and other parts where maybe you're stumbling and you need to review over and over again until you can get them out as fast as possible. Do this and you'll make a great connection with your audience because you won't be thinking about your speech. It won't be up here. It'll be in your heart where it needs to be so you can be present. Talk to you on our next Daily Dose of Public Speaking Wisdom.